Hey, real quick, folks, welcome to Zenny62. On Facebook, we're having a conversation about economic development sparked by my powerful belief and assertion and uh, commentary that we don't do it economic development anymore. But there are some people who respond, like Lynn, for example, Lynn Raphael, who ran for city auditor, unfortunately lost uh, four years ago, who say that because we have a homeless situation and hampers economic development, that's not, that's not the case. That's not how you think about economic development. Economic development is going out and getting a business, attracting a business via incentive. It's not having your city gussied up to hope that a business will move into it. That's not how that's done, okay? Our homeless situation is the best barometer we have for how poorly our economic development program is doing, all right? Economic development is business, it's business attention, uh, excuse me, <laughs> business, it is a business attention. It's business retention, business attraction, but also human capital development. That means job training, that means rental assistance, that means code enforcement, helping the owners of buildings and apartment complexes too with special programs that allow them to keep their dwellings, dwelling units and office buildings up to code without passing the cost on to you as the renter or the or the condo owner, all right? All right. So that's the full flowering of economic development. Economic development is making absolutely certain that you have a, f a fully funded police and security infrastructure in a neighborhood that consists not just of squad cars, it doesn't militarize the police, but also uses community policing so that the police get to know the people in the area and then also that the police, such that the police can report back to the city administration and the economic development department about who needs help. Why? Because the police are walking the beat, okay? The police are walking the beat. Hey, why not have it so that each police officer has a, a system where they can give out a voucher for up to say $5,000 per year, right? And that way they can help someone who's homeless on the street or in any situation where money is required, they don't have access to it. And the police officer, it would be a police officer's discretion who to give that to. And of course it would have to be, you know, for given to that person uh, to help them out of a situation, right? And the police officer would have to write a report about what that situation was, okay? That would be unique, you know? And then if it wasn't a direct, something where direct monetary give would be of assistance, but something, some city service, write that down and dispatch it in, report it into the city service complex. Because again, the police are right there in the neighborhood. They should have that ability to help people. It would also change the dynamic, change the relationship between the police and the community, okay? So we need to do that. When I was working in economic development on behalf of the city of Oakland, we took the city of Oakland to the International Council of Shopping Centers Spring Convention. We set up a show booth to present Oakland to potential developers and retailers who would come to Oakland. Builders. We don't do that anymore. We are not at the International Council of Shopping Centers Spring Convention with a booth to take our startups to meet potential investors or retailers or anyone else. 
That also is economic development. We don't do that either. So, you know, we're we're behind. We we are lost at sea and paying a department effort that is doing nothing. We've got to start all over. Rewrite how we do economic development. Get new personnel. City administration on down. Start all over again. And I'm saying that not because I want to see people lose their jobs, but more for the objective of getting your attention. This is an emergency emergency situation. Having the number of homeless people that we have is the best example I can point to to present to you evidence that our economic development effort is failing. That is the biggest example of all. It should not be. And again, I say to you, you don't think of the homeless as, oh, this is going to chase away economic development. No. The homeless represent people who are not receiving assistance either from family or friends or from the civic structure. And at the end of the day, that is what economic development is about. Because look, if you're trying to attract a business, you're trying to help the business, right? But what is helping the business but helping people? If you're training a person, you're actually helping that person get a job. Or if you're helping that small business development develop, you're helping that individual. And we shouldn't leave that to any private sector organization. I don't care if that company is in and of itself a startup. We should not rest our laurels on a startup private organization and just stop there. This city, under the current mayor, has done that. Oakland has done that. And it's shameful. All right.